different Navy Subway chefs are back in the Bender kitchen, this time putting a spin on the New England staple, the lobster roll. It smells so good in here, <laughs> Teresa. Joining us now is uh, Seth Chiato along with Matthew McDonald. We want to welcome both of you back here to CT Style, and also we want to thank our sponsor, Big Y, for providing all of the wonderful food in the Bender kitchen today. So you guys are stationed out in Groton. What yep. are your roles uh, in the Navy? So I am uh, I'm one of the watch captains for the three sections of uh, watches we run there. So we work uh, like a one day on, two day off schedule. Okay. Uh, and then Sethi here, he's the uh, food production chief, so he's in charge of all of the watches overall. I like how you uh, call him Sethi. Sethi. <laughs> 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 Was that your creation? Yeah, you it might have been. It might have been something I just decided to throw <laughs> yeah. in there, yeah. you know. All right. Well, Teresa like calls me later. Riney, so it's all good. <laughs> so, so let's get right into this <laughs> dish. How, awesome. <laughs> yeah. how do you guys get started? Here? So we're going to start browning off with some potatoes, and then he's going to brown off uh, or warm up the buns for the bottom. And then over right. here, we're just going to make the sauce real quick. So it's real simple. All you're going to do here is shred your uh, peeled cucumber. Okay. Just like so. No, why peeled? Just because you yeah, don't the, want the inside? Yeah, you don't want the sides in there, and then you can... Make it a little bit easier on yourself, and you can get the uh, English cucumbers, and you won't have to worry about seeding it. Okay. Um, and then you end up with something like this, and we're gonna add a little salt and a little bit of vinegar to that, which will dry out the liquid. Um, well, let's, let's, let's put that right over here so everybody can see. <laughs> there we go. There, there we go. go. <laughs> it's gonna dry out the liquid. So we have oil and butter here. I mean. Yeah. So we have olive oil that we uh, we heated up just to get a nice little kind of crispness on the uh, the outer part of the potato. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get uh, we cut them into wedges. We're gonna get both sides of it. Just kind of toast them a little bit. Uh, and when they're done, we're gonna toss them. We have a mixture of uh, salt, pepper. Uh, paprika and some fresh rosemary. So we're trying to kind of toss them. It'll kind of coat it a little bit from that oil uh, and then just butter to toast the buns with. I oh, love that. Can, can you say potato again? Potato. What no, no, he, oh, he, said, he said potato. <laughs> where, where, where are you originally from? I'm from Ohio. Oh, you're from Ohio. Yeah, that's I mean, why. That's why. Okay. So you guys just did a huge lobster dinner, 600 pounds plus for yeah, the folks we at did. the Subbase. We did. Everybody got their own lobster. Uh, we did a, a bunch of other uh, entrees and uh, and sides to go with it. I mean, everyone had a great time. I don't doubt it. Uh, it was it. an awesome day. <laughs> and I, I noticed there's a little extra lobster here, so we're just going to take this there you and go. keep it for after the show. <laughs> we're just gonna nice and fresh, here. theme of this so, morning. So what's the next step? We got so the garlic. So get your. Uh, your yogurt, your cucumber, you're going to add your chopped garlic to it, uh, a little bit of olive oil. Uh, then you're going to mix in a little bit of your rice or uh, white wine vinegar. Okay. Um, you need salt and pepper in there, little, too. A little salt and pepper right, in there as well. Teresa, you should be grinding some of there this. There we go. <laughs> I'm supervising. Am I even supposed to be doing this? I just <laughs> pick this thing up and I don't know. You guys cook at home, too? Or is All the time. You do? Uh, okay. Yeah. Try not to. You're yeah. sick of it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 There are some days you go home and you just really don't want to cook. Yeah. Yeah. Then you mix it up. And then when yeah. you're done, you can just add your lobster into it. Just a little chopped lobster. If you don't feel like cooking a lobster at home, you can have the, the guy at the seafood store steam it for you. It saves yep. yourself a little oh, bit of time. Easy, then. And you can do this the day before. So then all you do is mix your lobster meat in there with it. And then we're going to pile it onto our little buns over there. There you go. Our buttered right. buns here, oh, yeah. which yeah. look fantastic. Yeah, so, wow. so what's your plan for 4th of July? What are you guys going to be up to? So we're going to have a little barbecue at our house, and nice. besides that, we're just going to be hanging out with the family. All right. Oh, well, we're great. around, so feel free to invite us. I'm sure there's going to be good food. Oh, totally. Right? No, check this out. Can't wait to have you guys. If wow. Sethi's cooking. <laughs> no. There we go. Sethi, huh? Did your mom call you that, Sethi? No. I hope not. <laughs> Oh, these are great little bite-sized. These are a good little appetizer to have before the burgers are ready. All right. There you go. Awesome stuff. We love well, guys, that. We're going to try this at the end of the show. We want to thank both of you for coming on the show and, of course, your service here in the U.S. military. Thank you so much and enjoy the fourth. You know? Yeah, thank Thanks you for, for having us again, us. Ryan. Appreciate it. Always great, great to see you. having you yeah. guys here. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.